Hello and welcome to another BFD3 tutorial. In this video I want to take an overview of BFD3 um, right at its top level. So if you're brand new to the BFD world I want to explain exactly what BFD3 does and how it does it and also just clear up um, some of the meanings of some of the terminology that we use. You'll read things like uh, articulations and slots and channels and um, ambient mics and things like this. Um, so that when we go on to future tutorials um, that all makes sense. I'm going to explain them in this video. If you're new to BFD world then this will be well worth a watch. What is BFD? Well BFD is a drum library platform. We have one of the biggest drum sample libraries in the world and BFD3 is a software instrument that you can play back those drum samples with and it's very much designed to work like recording a drum kit in a real studio would work. So if you're in a real studio you go into the studio, you set up your drum kit, you set up multiple microphones around it and you capture the sound of the drum kit using all those different microphones and then that allows you to balance and uh, get exactly the sound that you want when mixing down. And BFD3 is exactly the same. We go into a high-end studio, we record some very nice drum kits using multiple microphones and we get a very patient drummer to sit there and hit very softly, very softly and then increasing in uh, force and velocity until he's hitting it, you know, all out. And that makes up multiple layers of samples and the software can play back those layers um, it knows, for example, when you uh, attach an electronic drum kit or a master MIDI keyboard to the software and you hit a key or you hit a um, drum with a certain force, the software knows which sample to play back. With the drums, we've got the microphone channels and each drum has direct channels which are the microphones uh, sort of closest to that drum if you like. Each direct microphone here on the snare you can see comes in to its own channel on the mixer. So a channel is literally a channel strip like you would find on any mixer. And then there are also ambient channels and these include the overhead mics which are generally two microphones hanging above the drum kit and they include uh, room microphones which will be a bit further back again they'll be stereo and generally there's an ambient three channel and normally with most of our uh, libraries these are uh, another set of room mics which are further back so those are what are called the ambient channels and all the kit pieces that are recorded obviously will also be picked up by these microphones so they are very important microphones because uh, the entire drum kit bleeds into them and helps to solidify the sound when you're recording and mixing with it. Every drum has multiple ways of playing it, you know, particularly something like a snare, you can just hit it uh, straight on, which is known as a hit. You can do a rim shot, you can do a side stick, you can do a drag. Each articulation, remember, is multi-velocity and multi-microphone. Now you don't really need to worry about that, the software deals with all of that for you. So you can send it a different MIDI key to trigger a different articulation, a different velocity. If I go over here to the models page, I've got the snare selected in the mixer, but you can see here under articulations we have drag, half edge, hit, rim shot, side stick, rim click. These are all different ways of hitting the snare and these are all available for you to play and use in your grooves and use in your song. What I'm doing here is detailed editing. For example, if I've got a groove and it's got a rim shot and a hit in it, but I'm finding the rim shot a little bit loud, I can actually just trim the rim shot on its own. So you can process articulations um, separate from each other and that's a very important distinction to make. If we go to the browser here you'll see drums. This is where you can load in different, um, for example if I want to swap my snare out I just click on the snare and I'm shown all the snares from my various libraries here. And so drums and kit pieces are, are the same thing really. Moving up from that we use the word kits for an entire kit, that's also very logical. And you can choose here to reset the mixer or not when you load it and to reset the tweaks. The tweaks is uh, another panel on the mixer here where you can trim the volume of each drum and also tune each drum and dampen each drum. So we've got drums, kits and then full presets 
Full presets are the entire state of the plugin, so basically everything. It includes grooves, it includes effects, it includes what kit and kit pieces you're using. And there's also uh, grooves within BFT3 that you can play back, recorded by professional drummers, so you can still put an entire drum groove together for your song. This is the groove editor. Basically, if we look for a new groove, you'll see here palettes. Grooves might be a one or two bar groove that you can load in. A palette is a sort of suite of grooves. So that might be uh, 20 or 30 grooves that are sort of matching and you can use to make a song out of. And you can see here that we've got a palette of grooves loaded with this preset. Key maps will translate incoming MIDI to BFD's internal triggering. So which MIDI key is going to trigger the kick? Which MIDI key is going to trigger the snare hit articulation or the drag articulation? And you can see here the key map that does that. There's all the keys down the side here. So we can see that uh, E4 is triggering our China hit. Floor Tom 2 rim shot there is on D sharp 3. So I'll leave it there and really if you understand those concepts then um, you are well set to having a great time with BFT3. Join me soon for another BFT3 tutorial. Thank you.